So this game here is coming along pretty well. You can have your enemies, you can shoot them, you can take damage from them, you can die, you can jump on them, you can do a couple different things. Except, something that would probably be nice would be the ability to see how much HP you and your enemies and whatnot have, right? Because then you can know exactly how close they are to dying or how close you are to dying, so that things like that don't accidentally happen and it shouldn't be a surprise to the player because that sort of thing really shouldn't be a surprise to the player. Well, there is a way to do that, of course. And that is going to be getting into something whole and new that I haven't talked about before, and that's going to be the draw event. So it's similar to the step event, it happens every time that uh, the room is displayed on the screen, which will be uh, 30 times per second, it updates once per frame generally. Except this is where you can draw stuff on the screen, and by draw stuff on the screen I don't mean taking your mouse and doing an MS Paint thing where you, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. But this is where things are displayed on the screen. Your sprites, your objects, your text, your HP bars, your whatever you want. So, here I'm going to be uh, saying quite simply for the enemy, draw text. And this takes a couple of arguments. It's going to take the x, a y, and a string. And I'm going to say uh, x position. It's going to be right above their heads, if you can call that a head, the red thing. And uh, y, how about minus 16, so 16 pixels above the head. And the string that we're going to draw is going to be um, the current HP, and then a slash, and then their maximum HP. Now I'm going to leave this syntax error there for a minute. I'm going to come into the create event, and I'm going to make an actual variable called max HP. And when they're created, when the enemies and the players are created, they're going to get a maximum HP value, so maybe they recover some HP for some reason. Uh, they won't be able to go above max HP, whatever that happens to be. And their current HP when they're created is going to be set to the max HP because you don't want them to spawn injured or something. Well, I don't think some people would particularly mind if the enemy spawned injured, but that would be rather detrimental for the player. So, we're going to do that there as well. <clears throat> and we'll be uh, we'll drawing the player's HP in a minute. And we're going to come back to this draw event with the syntax error. And we're going to be saying um, that. So, on the screen, when you play the game, you see 10 out of 10, which is their HP, but you don't actually see the enemy. Now, this is something that confuses quite a lot of people. It's kind of weird, it's kind of counterintuitive, but even if you don't have this event here in the events window, the draw event, it's still executed by the game. And what happens in that is that Game Maker implicitly draws the sprite on the screen, and if you put some code in here automatically, Game Maker won't draw the sprite on the screen, and that's a little weird. It doesn't do the most fantastic job of telling you that. I took about a week trying to figure this out when I was first loading Game Maker, and I hope that by watching this, uh, a couple of the people at least won't be taking a week to figure this out because it was quite annoying. Now to get it to draw on the screen, <clears throat> all you have to do is put this little line of code here, uh, draw self, and this will just uh, tell Game Maker to draw the sprite on the screen as well as the text or the HPVR, whatever you want to draw on the screen. Um, some shapes or some colors or some whatever. There is an error actually in the documentation and if you were to look up draw self it would tell you that this is only in the standard edition of Game Maker. This is not true, this is available in the light edition also. I don't know what they were thinking, this is a typo. It's unfortunate. Don't let it trip you up. You can still use draw self. Don't worry about that. So, now that that's out of the way, we're on the game. And this looks a little weird. Um, it's not... It's kind of hanging inside of the uh, the enemy, and it's kind of off to the side. That's a little weird. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I am going to go and move this up a little bit. So instead of y minus 16, we're going to draw it at y minus number lock 32. And I'm going to do something called draw set horizontal alignment and I'm gonna center it. This FA center is just basically a constant telling game maker um, to set the horizontal alignment to the center of where you're telling you to draw. It's like the it's like the text alignment in Microsoft Word or Photoshop or whatever other program has text alignment. Now when you do that, okay it's above their head now, it doesn't look stupid. You can see when I jumped on it or when I'm gonna shoot it with a bullet. Okay, I thought I missed there for a minute that their HP decrements. Perfect. So not to do that for the player, except that I think the player is something a little special. You don't really want it to just look like that for the player. So here, 
let's see, let's draw. We're going to draw cell first off. It's always the first thing that you should write. That's not what I meant to do. That's always the first thing that you should write if you ever put something in the draw event. Assuming that the object has a sprite to begin with, because you can have an object that doesn't have a sprite that's still drawn on the screen. And if you do that, it'll give you an error telling you that it doesn't have anything to draw on the screen, or it doesn't know what to do because it's a computer program and it's stupid. Anyhow, we're going to draw a health bar here. So, GameMaker has this lovely built in uh, function called draw health bar. And you could, this is another thing that you could, uh, use some drawing rectangles and stuff to do your own implementation for, but I think there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, game Maker's Draw Health Bar does work quite fine, I do use it in my own games and stuff, and uh, Pokemon. And we're going to draw another position on the screen, so we're going to say 32, 32 is going to be the, uh, the upper left corner, and the bottom right corner is going to be how about 264, so it's going to be, no that's not 200, it's going to be a uh, 168 by 32 pixels, and it takes a few more arguments, and this is going to be uh, amount, and this is going to be the amount and percentage that the health bar is filled up. So, how about 100% times HP divided by max HP, and that's another argument. And that color, that's the, uh, that's the color of the background of the health bar, if you're at like partial HP, and your health bar is half full, and this is the color of what's shown in the background. You can turn this on or off, there's another argument to do that, I'll get to that in a minute. But for now we're just going to say, um, the background color is going to be white, the minimum color is going to be red, of course, maximum color is going to be uh, green, and anything in between minimum and maximum HP is going to be interpolated, so if you've got like half HP it's going to be some sort of weird brownish color, because that's about halfway between red and green. The direction. This is interesting. Unfortunately, Game Maker does not let you just set any direction, like in degrees, for the health bar, as far as I know, anyway. But for this one is to the left, and we're gonna have to look this up. Zero is at the left, one is at the right, two is at the top, and three is at the bottom. And you can use that to make your own HP bars going in whatever direction you want, left, right, up, or down. I don't know, I don't think you can say like 1.2 to have it at an angle, but I'm just going to have mine be boring and go to the uh, left. So if it's all the way at the left, that's 0 HP and the right is maximum HP. Uh, so that's direction. The next argument is show back if you want to show the background color or not. True or false, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to say true because why not. Uh, and show border, which is going to be uh, drawing the black rectangular outline around it. And I'm going to say true for that too because why not. All right, so I'm going to run the game and see what happens. So you may notice that the health bar is being behind these objects here, and that's because of the draw depth. And this can be a little difficult to wrap your head around. It's not something you usually think of when you're playing video games, but everything in Game Maker is drawn in depth in order. In computers, unfortunately, as of my recording this, we don't have quantum computers, so everything is carried out sequentially. You can't have multiple things happen at the same time. And as it happens, the first object I created in this game was the player. So it's going to be drawn first, and then everything else is going to be drawn on top of it. The walls were created later. later. Um, I believe they're in like part two of this tutorial session. And they're going to be drawn on top of this. And if you want to change that, uh, you could, one, delete the player object from the room and recreate it. But that's not something you really want to do every time you want to change the draw depth. You see this depth thing here, right under the, uh, the visible and the solid checkboxes? Well, you can change that. So by default, everything's depth is zero. A positive depth means it gets drawn earlier, and that will be in the background. You won't see any visible change here, um, because there's nothing between, uh, say, 10 and zero. And the negative depth means it's going to be drawn later. And we are going to want to set that to something negative, say negative 10. And now the HP bar is being drawn on top of the walls. This doesn't have any impact on how the game plays, you can still collide with enemies even if they're on a different depth than you are, and um, you can still kill them and stuff. If you get into 3D, it's a bit of a different story because the depth is more or less the uh, Z axis in 3D, but I won't be getting there for a little while. I'll probably be getting to it eventually, 3D games, but uh, not for a little while, at least a few months. <clears throat> Maybe weeks, depending on how fast I put these videos up. But that's how you get a draw depth, and you can also, if you wanted to, uh, change this on the fly. 
Um, say if you hit a button or something in the game, uh, then you can change the depth or whatever. I don't know. It's not something that people generally do. Usually when you're making games, you don't need to control the depth that much. You can just set another to a certain uh, depth and run with it. Now, it would also probably be good if we could be like the enemies, getting back to the subject at hand, and show exactly how much HP they have on the screen. So once again, I'm just going to draw string. No, draw text. Draw string is like job or something. Um, and we're going to say 32 instead of a relative position to the, the player. Uh, how about 96? That should put it underneath the, uh, the health bar. And there. Actually, I'm going to be uh, fancy and label that as HP and uh, concatenate that string there. And that'll draw on the screen the amount of HP the player has. Okay, so that is also a... Uh, I didn't mean to die there. That is also sort of off to the side. It's not lined up here. So we are going to be wanting to do something similar to what we did in the enemy and set the horizontal text alignment. So draw set h align, and we're going to set that to left. If you're In case you're wondering, you can also set the vertical alignment for text, but that's something that you don't usually do as much unless you're using like multi-line strings or something like that. And I'm going to get to that, but I'm going to get to that later. So, perfect. We have the HP being drawn on the screen. We can see how much the enemies have uh, when you shoot them and stuff. I, 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 my aim is amazing. Um, you can run into them, and you can die. Wonderful. And the game restarts. So, that's progress. I think that's going to be it for this part of the tutorial. If you have any requests for what to do later, let me know, and I will get to it eventually. Uh, for now, rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch the stuff I have uploaded. Please and thank you, and I will see you all later. By the way, something else I might want to mention is that the default font in GameMaker Studio is different from the default font in GameMaker 8.x, and you now have this rather hideous-ish looking Comic Sans ripoff thing here. And it's not as bad as Comic Sans, but uh, if you want to change your font, I will also be making a video on that later. A short video but I will be getting to all the stuff that you can do later with fonts and text and all that fun stuff. So, for real this time, I hope you all enjoyed that. Read, comment, and subscribe. Watch some of the stuff I've uploaded, and I will see you later.